Welcome everybody to From the Pastor's Kitchen where I get to share with you two of my greatest passions, my love for Christ and cooking. I'm gonna air fry some broccoli florets and some cauliflower florets. I have more broccoli than anything, okay? Uh, but we're gonna put them in the air fryer. We're just gonna season them up, spray them down with some Pam and stick them in there for the appropriate time that it says on the air fryer. And they should be ready to go. Something that's really quick and simple for someone that may cook or want to do something really fast or someone that really don't cook at all. So now let's look at the florets. I've already cleaned them and cut them. And when I, flor I say florets, it'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about uh, for the broccoli and the cauliflower. So let's take a look at it. All right, here we go. This is the pan that they're going to go in. I put some foil on the bottom of mine so I don't have a, a lot of drippings down in the bottom. Plus, I'm going to spray it with this pan, but I'm going to use a little butter flavor because I normally put butter on them anyway. Let me put some adobo on them. Season them all together so they all taste the same. Have the same amount on them, a little granulated uh, garlic. Everybody does this differently. Your choice on how you want to do it. What seasonings you want. I have a no salt seasoning, okay? Just to season them up. I'm gonna toss these two. And some ground black pepper. Seems like it's a lot, but it isn't with the ground black pepper. It takes a moment for me to ground it. Toss them together. So I know that this, the flavor and the seasoning is going on every last one of these. I'm going to go back through it again with some of these. This is my no salt seasoning. I'm making sure that I put on here a little bit more adobo. Not a lot. And then some black pepper now. I'm not going to put any more garlic on it. I think it has enough garlic. So every piece is covered. Toss them again. I'm going to take them now, put them over in the air fryer. Don't fill your air fryer up. Because then you don't have to do a lot of turning with them. Once you just cover it, don't, don't put them on top of each other. Not necessary. Because then I'll have two... Um, loads to put in here, which is fine. That's enough, I think. My hands are off. Then I'm going to spray them down. That is it. Take them and put them in the air fryer. Now, I don't know what I'm going to put them on because I haven't done a lot of veggies, but it'll tell me. Let me know which one that I should put it on right in here. Okay, PFM, I put this inside the air fryer. I set it at 350 degree temp temperature and for 15 minutes, but it may take less time than that. So I'm gonna check it at seven minutes then check it again at 10. There isn't much that I need to do on it because I haven't cooked vegetables in it before. I'm gonna test it now as I'm using it. We'll be right back when they're just about done. Hey P fam, I'm checking it at five minutes. I have it set for 15. I know that I'm not gonna actually let it go for actual uh, 15 minutes. I really don't see the setting on here for vegetables, so I just put it in there for 15 in between time I'm checking it. So right now, really at five, I could let it go, but I just wanted to char a little bit and get a little blackened around the edges because it's edible right now and it's tender to the touch. And so I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer, a couple more minutes, and then pull it out and put the next batch in. Hey, P fam, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. They cooked for approximately seven minutes. That's enough. They are a little charred. You get to see them. That's good enough. They are cooked, all right? And they could have been done in five minutes, but it's going to be your preference, your choice. Take these out and put the other ones in. There you go. That's the next batch. We're going to put it in for another seven minutes, and they will be done. Hey, P-Fam, I am pulling out the last batch now. It is cooked for seven minutes. And for someone that don't want it charred, you can cook it for five minutes. You see it now, how it looks? I'm gonna put it with the rest of it now.
And this is the entire uh, amount of broccoli and cauliflower florets. When I say florets, it's the stem that we cut off the end of it. And now you have them uh, air fried. Uh, I cooked them for seven minutes. I had two batches of them. Cooked them for seven minutes a piece. And as I said before, you can do five minutes if you choose to. All right, something really quick, wonderful. The flavor is just right for me. I provided you with my seasonings, but what about your seasonings? What do you want to put on it? How do you want to enhance the flavor of your broccoli and cauliflower florets? All right, please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next week.